the, the question of how Freeway Park came about. Uh, first of all, the reason uh, for the park and the whole exercise was that uh, the city had of uh, Seattle, where the Freeway Park is, had ho hosted, you know, a, uh, a World's Fair. I, I was um, asked to participate as a member of a design committee which supervised the aesthetics of the park, of the uh, World's Fair. Uh, on the whole, we didn't, each one of us didn't work, uh, and, but some did actually design things, but the group, included, which included Paul Seary, uh, Minoru Yamasaki, myself, and some of us, very nice group. And uh, we did some things that were quite good. We, we decided to put a monorail from the downtown area to the park that people could use. It was the first example in the United States of how, of how to use a, a monorail in a, in a creative way. And it was very useful, it was very jolly. One of the major things I ha helped with, I said, let's plant all the, all the streets to, to street trees, which we did, and I think that's helped Seattle a lot. Uh, one of the things that did happen uh, which Paul Seary particularly was annoyed by, and I was too, and that was that a freeway from the uh, airport was designed that would bring people to the downtown area and cut the two pieces of, of Seattle in half and uh, asunder, the downtown area and then the, the uh, I think it's called the hospital area and housing area, living area to the east. It was a chasm, and uh, one of the things that I did, I made a drawing, which is in a book called Freeways that I did, which showed how this could be healed. Uh, there was a drawing of a freeway doing exactly what happened, and uh, instead of accepting the cutting of the two pieces asunder, I showed how you could build a, a, a a development on top of the freeway which would knit back the two pieces and uh, the people up in Seattle saw that and they asked me to come and, and design something that would accomplish something that would be like that and so uh, I uh, started with that and did a whole series of studies which showed that it would be possible uh, and how it would be possible, and that, but that instead of building uh, buildings on top of it, we would put a park. And that was the origin of the freeway park, which then did exactly that, and uh, was a lid that had some wonderful qualities about it. It uh, accepted the idea of the chasm uh, by including wonderful waterfalls that fell down into the chasm uh, where you could see the cars go by. And uh, then within the, within the uh, area enclosed by the freeway, we did some wonderful stepped Babylonico type gardens full of plants and lovely things. And uh, everybody has loved it ever since. I accepted the idea that uh, the freeway was there. We were going to cover it over, but we were also going to accept the fact that the freeway is going through. Mm -hmm. The lid, we did a lot of, of acoustical studies, by the way, uh, on the, how to treat the lid so that you wouldn't hear the sound of the freeway. And, and, and as a matter of fact, when you're in the, in the garden, you don't hear it at all. And that was part of the goodness of the, of the waterfall, too, that helps. That seems to me one of the good things about that park, too, and that is that it accepts the nature of where it is and uses it as part of the solution. Now the two pieces of the city are connected. It, the healing occurred easily. 
uh, and uh, Perry Johansson was, uh, by the way, was the name of the architect who worked with me on the parking garage part of the, we added a parking garage as part of this. And it functions very well in the downtown area. I'm delighted with it.